Hello, everybody, and welcome to... <laughs> oh! Do I have to draw this one? Uh, no, it's a discard. Frick. <laughs> Your book. That's Anyways, a... hey, everybody, and welcome to our uh, <laughs> penultimate or maybe ultimate episode of our event-only challenge it went really good for like the first two scenarios, and then it's slowly the um, the wagon that Britt and I have been riding down the hill. Pieces have been falling off, and like him and I are just on like two wheels and like a stick right now. It's not going great. Um, calling forth the old ones as you approach Sentinel Hill, hill you hear ancient Latin rites bellowed across the night. The time for action has come. If you cannot stop the sorcerers in Dunwich, who knows what terrors they might unleash, unleash upon the world? And then a vibrant arcane energy fills the air with a bone-rattling chill. The energy swirls along the crushed trail before you and seeps down several other paths before disappearing. When the investigators have collected the requisite number of clues, they must immediately spend them in advance. Uh, and then Forrest, if you discover one or more clues, spend those clues and put that many random set-aside diverging path locations into play. Yeah. I will draw. All right. Uh, this hand's kind of bonkers. I'm going to, like, keep the whole thing. That's wild. Um, I'll go first. Yeah. I'm going to play these preposterous sketches for one last. Nice. So if we draw that, like, proto Shuggeth, we're dead, right? Um, I mean, like, maybe? I think, I think we might be able to get there. Oh, okay, 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 that's good. I might be able to cobble it together. I'll burn the midnight <laughs> oil. Uh, we just got five to four. Let's go. This is not an altered location. I will take a clue and spawn an altered location. Boom. Not the whole thing. Oh, I got you. I got the clue. I got the clue. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because they're they're immediately spent. They're spent, and uh... I don't want to spend them. Game. <laughs> I know it's it's a little bit rude of them, isn't it? It's a little bit rude. Yeah, that's just not right. Um. <laughs> How many clues do we we need? Four. Yeah. So we're definitely going to need a second location. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, five to four. Dang. Sure, whatever, you win. <laughs> All right, I'm going to check out this location. After you reveal Slaughtered Woods, take to horror if you have no actions remaining. I do have actions remaining. Um, so you want clues, don't you? Um, I mean, I don't need them. Okay. I just have cards I can't play, but that's okay. One of them's mostly here to be a cut. In that case, I'm going to just intel report and grab these clues. Sounds good to me. Uh, I'll then move back for my last action. Let's go upkeep. That's a card. <laughs> <You're real sick>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh... You cannot okay. move into this location, but if an enemy spawned here, swapping is different than moving. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong, but maybe I'm right. Anyways, my evil card is Idle Hands. Sure. The spaces between. What are you doing? Flip each non-Sentinel Hill location in play to its unrevealed side, removing all clues from it. Each investigator and enemy of the Hill location flipped this way immediately moves to the nearest Sentinel Hill location. Shuffle each non-Sentinel Hill location. Oh, that, that's just a good thing. Yeah, we just you just got two clues. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, I'll... Yeah, check it out. I'll move in here. Oh my god, it's the slaughtering ones. With two clues on it. 
No, no, Bryn, we're going to actually survive this. I just feel I'll it right I'll now. investigate, yeah. Let's, I mean... And let's do it again. No. Ooh. All right, it's fine. Nice try, game. Nice try. Sure got me good. Um, all right. Um, I'm going to play Attempt Fate. Lose all my resources. That's okay. That's gone now. I don't need to live in fear anymore. <laughs> Wait, you think Dad's going to lose all his money to her? Uh, we're going to transfer the money over. And then honestly, I don't think I want to just keep taking horror from this card, so I'm just going to take the damage now. And then I'm going to use those actions. I'm going to draw a card and I'm going to gain a, a resource. Good. All right, upkeep. Wow, my hand is actually loaded. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Bryn, swap places with it. <laughs> Okay, no, I, I, I'm actually really curious. I need to look up this. Uh... This freaking card. What's it called again? Slip of? Ethereal slip. Thank you. I'm going to assume we can't, but I'm just I'm going to ask the Discord. I just need to know. Yeah, I'm, I'm also game to just assume that I can't do that. Yeah, it's it, it'll just play better that way, but I'm just yeah. curious. Yeah, sure, I'll go first. I'll play this for one off the top of my deck. Nice. Uh, we must now spend the clues to advance. Uh, yeah, we must immediately spend... This one does not want you having clues. Remove all clues from each location and play. What do you mean I can't spawn more of these locations? Uh, reveal the ascending path. Hey, it's the same thing, but different. All right. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm going to spend three actions getting money. Nice, okay. Um, I'm going to do the thing that just results in you drawing more autofails, Bryn. I'm going to add four curse tokens to the... Sorry, bless tokens to the bag. I'm just going to add four curse tokens to the bag. Don't worry about it, though. <laughs> I'm gonna transfer. I'm gonna draw a card, transfer a money, and gain a resource because I don't really want to walk up into Lupine Thrall Avenue. Yeah, that's fair. This guy moves here, and we'll go to upkeep. Wow. Four of twelve. My evil card is this guy. Yuck. I know him. He's a he's a friend from work. What do you got? Oh shit! <laughs> Is this when it all becomes undone? Uh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> all right. What are you okay. thinking? Well. I'm gonna take a bunch of damage. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die here. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna die here. I'm gonna die probably somewhere in this area of the map. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you get away from that guy? Um, I was planning, even though it's like not great, I was planning on moving up into the ascending path. 
I mean, I, like, I have a bunch of evade spells in hand. Um, okay. What are you thinking? Like, what what is what are some options you have? So I've got a I've got materials. <laughs> oh fuck yeah! Go nuts! Yeah, Go right. nuts! Um, so like I take an attack of opportunity to play it. Yep. Um, hold on, I'm not gonna do that quite just yet. I am gonna do that though this turn. Sick. So. Do that. Uh, I am gonna play the spectral razor for one mm -hmm. while I'm here. Yeah. We're gonna fight it because it's a spell. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna fight this guy at six to two. Cool. Tristan. <laughs> oh, Tristan. Tristan. Oh, Botley. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> we'll deal in Wow, three. six tokens. Tristan Botley's so hard right now. Yeah, he's like, oh my god, Norm. Uh, three damage? Yeah, and then for action two, I'll play the Sweet. Ethereal Slip and swap places with this guy. Okay. Uh, does that leave that guy there? I actually don't know. I think because he's engaged with you. Because if he's engaged with me, I'll play a different card first. Yeah, go for it. I think so, because I think he stays with you. I'm going to play this thing. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'll discard no cards, though, because I think 5 to 2 is good enough. Man, do you remember when uh, all of our uh, content talking about that card, we were like, that's never going to happen? Yeah, yeah, right. So this guy will just be dead then. Nice, good kill, good kill. He said, oh, I don't, I don't know what to do. It's been so long since I've moved an enemy to the discard file. I don't know what to do with my hand. Uh, yeah, so fight, fight, change places. Sweet. It's good, we're good. Okay, how do I go about this? The general consensus seems to be that it is a move action. It is like, it's not a move action, but it is a move. Which makes sense. Okay. I think I just spend two and evade this guy. He doesn't go there, he stays here. Action number two, we're gonna move up here. I do get to not take the damage from that bird though. Yes, that is true, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I think I'm gonna spend four and just save you the time, and I'm just gonna discover two clues here. I spend them and put that many altered locations into play. <laughs> so I, I was looking at uh, looking at one of the earlier videos, the comments on it. Yeah. And somebody was just like, so all Bryn does is investigate it five to shroud, hey? <laughs> I was just like, yeah. <laughs> it's so accurate, isn't it? <laughs> what this is the only thing that can happen here yeah oh my god that's funny um this guy moves here let's go upkeep uh this guy moves right the devotee uh yeah he'll be up here with us yeah um i suppose i'll take him I hate to have to use a turkey for this, but that might be what has to happen, depending on the... Um... I got a plan, it's like kind of shit, but... <laughs> yeah. Sure. 
can I, I can I can stop this lupine thrall for a good chunk of time. Oh yeah, the um, he that, that although, lupine thrall might be under surveillance if you catch my drift. <laughs> All right, let's go five of twelve. My evil card. Yeah. Is kill Norman. Kill. Kill Norman. Kill <laughs> Preston. <laughs> Preston must die. <laughs> oh my god. This is hilarious. Kill Norman. Kill Preston. Okay. Uh, oh, I guess I should have clicked this upkeep button. Hey, that would have been a good thing. Yeah, there. probably. I will go first. Sweet. What Fight me. Oh, a Storm of Spirits. I got a Storm of Spirits. The upgraded one. Yeah, so if this goes bad, it goes like... Really it goes bad. really bad. I will die. Don't worry, there's only like one blessed token in here. Sorry, there's three. All right. So we've got... I can pick whichever three I... Uh, no, I can pick the three. It's not a whichever three. There's a three and a four. I'll pick the three. So you're six to three? So we're six to three. Yeah. Why not? Why not? We'll be eight to three. Let's go. They're Let's dead. Kill these guys. What the frick? Are is there a chance we might do this? I mean, not now that you've cursed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't believe in that, but I'll play I... this uh, this emergency cash for sweet one less, and then I'm done. All right. Test. Kill Preston. Pass, kill Preston. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna kill Preston. <laughs> I am going to play an under surveillance here. Mostly just so, like, if I draw an enemy, I don't need. It's like it solves an enemy. That's the only reason. Yeah. Uh, then I think I'll draw a card for my last action. Uh, I'll play this tempt fade. That's a draw. That's a draw. Okay, upkeep. Ooh, that's Hello. a Hello! Oh, it's this guy. Stubborn detective. We meet again. <laughs> you and me until the end of time, it seems. <laughs> Alright. Uh, evil card. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, bud. What you doing down here? <laughs> Killing Preston? Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, good idea. We should kill Preston. Pre oh, we should have this location. So that can be here or the altered path. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Yeah, because he'll trigger this. Yeah. All right. Um, I can go first, if that's cool. Yeah, for sure. All right, I'm going to move in here. I'm going to stab the... Stubborn detective. Thanks. Shouldn't be so stubborn. He should not. Then you get to go home to your wife and family. The harbinger, oh, you said. <laughs> All right. That's fine. The harbinger, huh? Um, I think I'm going to move back up here now. Sounds good. <laughs> I have an occult implication. Let's go. The occult invocation it says kill. Apparently, I'm not allowed to have. Ah, uh, I should keep it though. Yeah, I think we get clues up top. I think we get yeah. clues up top. Yeah, I might need it. I will throw in this and this. Nice. Because we got to get up to three. So we're at eight to three. Uh oh. Sweet. Okay. Get out of here, pal. Man, the only downside is that this game is grinding our resources down. And then we'll just uh, we'll throw away this oh, harbinger. Perfect. Cool. Uh, can I? I can play this still because it's my turn, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Let's move <laughs> into the slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so bad. Uh, this lupine thrall enters our location. He gets super exhausted. Uh, I'll discover this clue, spend it to s spawn the last altered path. And 
Yeah, then he... Oh, right. I gotta test the kill, Preston. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. 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 We'll fail. Yeah, you fail. Preston's gotta die. Preston must die. Alright, upkeep. That's a card. That's a card. 7 of 12. Give me the proto shuggeth. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Attach your location, one per. After they draw, and if this location draws one or more cards, it must test brain three. If they fail, chooses and discards an equal okay. number of cards. That's fine. All right, what do you got? Hey, this classic. So do you think that they understand that this is only a problem if the other card is, like, in a pile of cards that you might ever actually draw it? Yeah, I, I don't think they, they... I think that... The, the, the uh, card and decks and all that Dude. really changed a lot. No, that's a good card. The blinding light. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I suppose we should start doing these alter yeah. cuts, huh? Yeah. Um, I'll face check one. Sure. How about this one? Yeah. After you reveal it, loot take one horror for each action you have remaining. Oh no. Kill first. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Alright, uh, I will investigate. At five to shroud. Five to shroud. Easy. Clear. Why do anything Let's... else, right? Do it again? Yeah, yeah, why not? Ooh, all right. Test the kill Preston. Holy shit. Oh, that one is not the horror one. Oh! Plus zero, hey? Um, I may swap the top card of my deck with the card in my hand. Hey, yeah, we'll swap it with this. <laughs> plus four! Yeah, plus so four. Such a strong yeah. elder sign. <laughs> Yeah, take that kill, Preston. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> all right. I'm going to move into this far location. I'm going all the way to the end. Oh, God, no. Please, God, no. After reveal dimensional gap, discard cards at the top of the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded. Uh, spawn that enemy here. Set up its normal location. All right. Oh, you're just a guy. Okay. <sighs> I think we try to evade it at five to two. Nice. I am then going to call in a small favor and have this thrall eliminated. Hey, Tony. Yeah. Can you kill that what thrall? Is it, is it more birds? No, it's a guy this time. Sure. Uh, but this lupine thrall awakens. That's okay. I'm not there right now. Upkeep phase. Ooh, that's a draw. Oh, did I do this on a non-treachery last turn? Last game? No, no, it was on the uh, Idle Hands, yeah. All right, my evil card is this Resurgent Evils. Hey, you know what I want to do instead? Draw a card. Hey, forget about it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say non-peril. Discard the top three cards of each investigator's deck. Each investigator in an altered location shuffles the weaknesses in their discard pile back into their deck. Holy crap. Oh, you have a lot of weaknesses in your deck. Yeah, your I'm just going to draw them all. Your deck's really tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, my paranoia goes back in. Oh, God. But maybe you'll hit... Maybe you'll hit the... Uh... Oh, my God, you have four? 
Yeah. Fifty percent of your deck. Honestly, Brent, if you get the Harbinger, just don't play with a deck anymore. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> Um, so, do you have a plan for the Thrall, or do you want me to deal with it? Um, I could probably solve the Thrall, yeah. Okay. Why don't you be go first, and I'll be the I, backup. Uh, I mean, like, it depends what's underneath this working hunch, I suppose. That is true, yeah. And whether I play it or not. How many clues do we need? We, we need, need four clues we to need get three anything. more. So we need the two from my location and the one from your location. Okay. Well, I'll investigate it five to two. Nice. Sweet. Done. Yeah. We'll move back in here. We're going to feed this guy some not logical reasoning. Nope. nope. Card <laughs> next like, to it. Ah, I've got a go. plan. So you're at five to four? We're at seven to four. Seven to four. Yeah, we'll be at eight to four because what am I going to do with that card? Yeah. Shuffle it back into my deck? Probably. Uh, Fuck. How do you do it every time? All right, I'll come and I'll come and evade that guy this turn, okay? Um, yeah, I mean, like I guess for my last trick, I'll try to evade it one to four because it could happen. Oh, uh, didn't you investigate moved and then? Oh yeah, yeah, no, that was investigate with play the card. Yeah, you're right. But we do have to test kill Preston. Oh, shit, kill man. Preston. Preston's, Preston's gonna die. All right, I'm going to attempt to investigate this location at one to three. Oh, no. Look what I found. Scooby Doo. <laughs> All right, we're then going to move in here. And I'm going to spend five and throw a chicken, which I know the dog loves. Um, I don't mind taking him again. Okay. I um, think you are more likely to actually get a win in the top than I am, so. I don't believe you. <laughs> uh, anyways, we'll each draw a card, and then we have to test brain three, and then we have to discard an equal number of cards uh, if we fail. The Harbinger. I mean, that's probably the best one to see, right? I mean, like, I don't do anything now. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> I'm, I'm just five. I'm just a walking five yeah. book. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna test one to three. Oh, I'll just discard the card. Uh, actually, I'm gonna discard this easy mark because I don't think I'm ever gonna play it. Get our curse and another curse and a minus three. <laughs> See you later, emergency cash. You don't do anything anymore anyways. All right. Nine of 12. My evil card is a Beyond the Veil. That's fine. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> One to five. Oh, three cards? That's nothing. Man, I would, I would kill to draw that card. They can't do anything to me. Yeah. All right, what do you got? Oh! Sure, I guess that's just how it is. Yep. <laughs> and then, uh... Thanks, the Harbinger. <laughs> you know, that's actually, it's not him like trying to scare you, it's him trying to give you a high five. <laughs> He's like, don't worry, you got it. Uh, what does that surge into? Oh, why does it have surge? Spaces between, sure, whatever. We're not it's... going back. Yeah, we're not going back, it's done. So... All right. All right, do you want to move up? You can spend my clues. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Um, approaching the peak of Sentinel Hill. 
You're confronted by several citizens of Dunwich. The man in the center of the circle lets out a crazed laugh. You recognize the man, Seth Bishop, from the description given to you by the townsfolk earlier. We've done it, he cackles. We've accomplished what old Watley and his git couldn't. You watch Revelation. I can see now. I can finally see. A torrent of energy pours open. Seth holds on the stone in front of him to prevent himself from being sucked into the gate. You barely manage to dig your heels and grab hold of a nearby rock in time to resist the pull of the gate. Seth rises to his feet, wearing an expression of pride. We get the Seth Bishop enemy. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, only <laughs> investigators here may spend the records number of clues to advance. Right. Okay. Um, I guess that's me, then. Yeah. Like, I can... I can try to evade him, but it's not gonna work. No, no, definitely not. Yeah. Uh, test kill Preston. Fail kill Preston. Oh, shit. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna take an attack of opportunity to move up here. Uh, and then, if there's one thing I know, four here, one here, is that fucking Seth Bishop loves a good turkey. Wait, you think he doesn't? Look at that guy. He loves the turkey. When an investigator draws a hex card at this location, that investigator takes one damage, I'm gonna die. Uh, this doesn't hit elite enemies, but I'm gonna still just put two damage on the lupine thrall. There. Okay. Uh, everything ready is at the end of the round, right? No, sorry. We have to draw cards now. So I suppose I should take these guys, right? Because you, if you get clues, that's good. I'll keep. Uh oh. All right, Bryn, here's the ultimate strategy. You <laughs> We're done. I think this might be it. <laughs> All right, we have 10 of 12. My evil card is... Oh, that's good. Is that a hex? It's not a hex. That's fine. I have no clues. Dane Surge. This is an abomination enemy. And he heals but all I don't think this really does anything to it. It does heal all damage from it. I don't think that really changes much, though. Yeah. Alright. Well, um... Five to four, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Try again. Try again. Yes. At one. Hey, you think you can attack these guys for three turns? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I suppose I should try to evade the thrall. If I can evade the thrall. We're testing four to four, so, like, it's, it's awful. Oh, do you want to test your kill, Preston? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Brand. What the? Plus zero? Alright, we're testing four to four. That sounds about right. Yep. Uh, I think I'm gone here. Um, in that case, I am also going to be dead. So sick. Alright. I have no cards that do anything, so... And this giant hand on top? Dead Preston. My only regret... Is that you didn't kill him? Is that I didn't get to kill Preston. Nah, but Bryn, now you can kill yourself with violent commands. You can go out on your own accord. <laughs> I can't. The, uh, the attack of opportunity kills me first. Oh, because you have two horror! <laughs> uh, what is, uh, what's your evil card? Nothing happens. But yeah, I don't think that can do anything. Nah. I can't. Yeah. All right. That's over. That's it. You die. Yeah. I mean, like, I guess all oh, there's still blessed tokens in the bag, right? Yeah. 
I mean, like, I guess I'll try to evade this loop by troll. <laughs> nope. Let's try again. Nope. One more. All right. Yeah. Good die. If I'd seen those tokens last turn, we would have been done because I have one of these. <laughs> oh, dang, that sucks, yeah. Um... All right. Yog Sothoth tore apart the barrier between worlds and became one with all reality. Each investigator is driven insane. So yep. I think this was a good example of why assets and skills are important, right? <laughs> because like we yeah. we actually did pretty good this scenario, but we we were just ground out of resources, right? The resources yeah. were just we just had to spend them all. And we weren't like just using a weapon or like recurring our things with assets, right? Like you get any asset in either of these decks and like they'll crush this campaign, right? But yeah, I think a, I think a big part of the issue is also like, I should have I should have chosen someone who actually gets to play good events mm -hmm. instead of only level zero events. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that part's on me. It was fun, though. There's a lot of great memes. I love this Kill Preston that came from it. I uh, I had a great time. But the, the, <laughs> the story does end here. So thank you for everyone who was watching. And sorry to anyone who was expecting a different result. Uh, we powered through all of these in one night. Like, like these last uh, train to now. So we kind of just knew this was coming. But we tried. I think we, we, we had a, a good attempt on this scenario. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We were, we were, like, pretty close. Yeah, and if you drew different tokens, like you said, I think we could have got there. Yeah. But that's Arkham, baby. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. And as always, a GG's.